It was one of those days when landscape photography almost goes the wrong way. Tripod. Let's go. Let's go and see. Ooh. I'm going to just place the camera on the rock here. Oh man. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Learning Landscape Photography on the Kennedy's channel. So I am on this path of learning landscape photography and today I have come to this very beautiful location. As you can see everything around me, these things that you're seeing right here are nursery beds. Okay, not nursery beds as such, but they are greenhouses where they grow berries. So I'm going to be doing some kind of photography around this place, not specifically photographing these things, uh, but these waterfalls just behind me if you can hear the sound i uh, hearing that sound that's a waterfall so i'm going right there to see if i can capture some very beautiful pictures of the waterfall and with me i have my olympus omd em5 with a 7 artisans lens 25 millimeters f 1.8 and i also have a point and shoot camera which is a fuji hs10 pix it's 10 megapixels I'm going to put it on a test and see what pictures I can get out of a 10 megapixel camera which was produced in 2012. Yeah, let's see how an 8 year old camera can perform. Yeah, see you guys. Come along. The path to the waterfall wasn't as smooth as this road is. It was so rugged. I was with my friend Hilda as we made our way through the bush to this spectacular beauty. So this was what I was talking about. This right here gives you a brief history about this place. Yeah, La Cascata del Rio Negro. The river is called Rio Negro, which I don't know why they call it black, but yeah, it means the falls of the black river. So there is little artifacts here. As you can see, they're telling you the path leads to a site of meaningful beauty in Klinga Gorge, whose wild charm is enhanced by the impetuous flowing waters of Rio Negro River. The river gushing down outwards the valley produces foamy rapids and thunderous waterfalls. So I really don't know where this river starts from, but yeah, it's very beautiful, very beautiful. Our athleticism was tested. <laughs> Let's see if she can jump. <laughs> That's Hilda right there. <laughs> She's struggling. <laughs> we go. I was unlucky again. My pants got bust. Oh, oh my god. Oh my days. It wasn't this because of the pair of two I carry down home. there. <laughs> <laughs> you fall, you bathe. So that water that you see there is what I'm going to try to photograph. It's very beautiful. So I'm going to move my camera and set up somewhere down there. There is a rock down there. I don't know if you're able to see it. That rock. That rock down there is where I want to set up my camera and make sure that I capture this very beautiful cascading water. So let's get there and see what kind of composition I can come up with. I'm going to try and put together all the facets of composition and see what kind of photograph or what kind of picture you can actually come up with down there. Let's go. This is a point and shoot camera. As you can see, I'm already running out of battery. The battery is already worn out. But yeah, I'm going to try and compose this shot. I think this is a pretty interesting composition right here. 
as you can see the water is flowing just beautifully over that rock so I'm going to take a photograph of this as you can see so this piece of wood right here is going to act as my leading line let's get the shot and see how it looks like this was the original image but using the tools in Photoshop and Lightroom, I was able to make the images cleaner and more appealing to the eye. There's too much sunlight, that's why I'm having this these shades on but yeah day is done i really feel very happy with the shots that i've been able to get and unlike the other day when i went in the woods and i hadn't set the camera right all the pictures were jpeg so i will not upload those videos maybe if you want to see them and you want to see the images that i took prior this day Maybe you can let me know in the comment section and maybe I will upload that video. But today I'm very, very pleased with the shots that I've been able to get. And yeah, maybe I'll come back here someday and do some more, you know, photography. But yeah, I'm very, very pumped and very happy. So if you haven't yet subscribed, hit the subscription button. And of course, don't forget to say hi to your mom. I love you and I'm out of here.